going on guys? Welcome back to Natural Enclosure. Today I'm going to be doing a terrarium setup uh, for my new mangrove monitor that I just got. Alright, so I'm flipping this over to my to the back side just so I can work on the wall first. I'm going to be using these materials today. Some bark as well as pond and stone. I'm going to go ahead and start placing some stuff in. I'm going to go ahead and do a little backdrop on this as well as the whole setup inside. All right, so the reason why I set this up this way, I'm gonna have a tree kind of connect to it right here, a couple bark set up, make it kind of like a tree display. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and just test this out, see how it looks before I go ahead and put the pond and stone inside. Once the pond and stone is in, that's it, everything is glued. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start spraying everything in, make sure that it's right where I want it. Everything looks good. All right. And one more look at it. And we're going to start spraying everything. So this stuff is really messy. You should wear gloves. Pond and stone is to fill in gaps. This holds everything into place. All right, so now that's all done. We wait till it dries. All right, guys. So now I waited a whole day to let the pond and stone kind of dry now that it's all dry kind of always dries in like a smooth surface so i'm going to go ahead and carve all the smooth off so i can go ahead and place some all-purpose uh, silicone on here and then sprinkle some dirt it would be much better if i had a razor or like a box cut or something like that but i don't at the moment Right, guys so now that everything is dry and all the smooth surfaces are carved out I'm gonna go ahead and place all-purpose all over the um, pond and stone and then sprinkle some dirt that I have here and then I'll also be laying down some moss over it I got this from uh, Repticon from a business uh, family rent house Basically in this part, whatever that does not stick, you tilt the tank back over, let it fall off, and then you go back on the spots that you missed. So now that the background is all set up, I'm going to go ahead and place this log in. It's going to be my lizard's basket area. I got the soil. Uh, I got this out uh, my Repticon. It's a really good price, man. This big bag only cost me about $15, $18.
So I'm gonna have a water bowl on the right side of my tank. Lizard likes to swim. Spend a lot of time in the water. This whole enclosure right here is for Zula, my mangrove monitor that I got over at Repticon. It's the newest addition to the family. It's a couple months old. Still a baby. Alright, so let's see how Zula likes it. tuning in natural enclosure don't forget to like share comment subscribe <laughs>